This is Dr. Palacios, and I am here to talk about migraine headaches and other forms of headaches. In today's presentation, I'm going to talk about cluster headaches because the question is, how do I distinguish a cluster headache from the other forms of headaches? About 0.1% of headache sufferers are diagnosed with cluster headaches, but it is important to distinguish it from the other forms of headaches in case you have some confusion. Now, a cluster, the reason it's called cluster is because of the episodes that the headache comes in. So you get it in clusters or episodes that happen in around the same timing. Other people call it the hot pocket headache. And then there are other layman's terms that you will call a cluster headache. Now, before I get into the symptoms, let's explore what is a cluster headache in the categories of headaches. We've talked about migraines, we've talked about tension headaches, and now we're talking about cluster headaches. But this category is actually known as trigeminal autonomic cephalgia, or TAC. This category is known for its effect on the trigeminal nerve in the parasympathetic division. What does that mean? So in your face, you have cranial nerves that innervate directly into your brain, so you experience what's out there. Now, the trigeminal nerve is a nerve that kind of looks like a little branch of a tree, and it's right here, right on your sides. And this type of nerve, or cranial nerve 5, innervates and gives you sensations to your whole face, and also has some muscle movements in your jaw. Now, let's take a look at the symptoms and how they're different from the rest of the headaches. Number one, the pain is severe. The pain is one-sided and it's around the eye socket. So from a scale of one to 10, one being no pain to 10 being, I can't even get out of bed because of the pain, a cluster headache is between nine and 10, which is way up here. So it's quite debilitating for people if they're left untreated. Second quality, the pain lasts between 15 minutes to 180 minutes or simply three hours. Number three, attacks occurs from one time a day to up to eight times a day. Now, it doesn't mean that you will get the pain every day, but you could get them from a period of time, let's say a couple days, and then you go into remission, which means no more until the next episode. And sometimes you may not know when that episode is going to be. And number four, you have additional symptoms to cluster headaches, such as red teary eyes, nasal congestion or discharge, so a runny nose, you can get a puffy eyelid or sometimes a droopy eyelid, which is known as ptosis. And then your forehead or just your whole face can start sweating, usually on one side, because again, these types of headaches are one-sided. And you can get meiosis, which is a fancy word for narrow pupils. So instead of migraines where your pupils get extended and big, in cluster headaches, you get them shortened or smaller. And all of these symptoms come from the parasympathetic nervous system of the trigeminal nerve. So at this time, we've been able to identify what a migraine is, a tension headache, and a cluster headache. And my last message to you is to keep in mind this following quote, which says, all things are poison and nothing is without poison. Solely the dose determines that a thing is not a poison. This is from the famous Paracelsius, who was the father of iatrogenic medicine. In other words, modern pharmacy. So his point in this quote is to mention that no matter what medicine you take, whether it's natural or synthetic, knowing the dose is important. Because yes, you may think that natural medicines are harmless, 
But if you do very little of it, like only take teas and not the right amount of the dose, it's not going to do much and your condition will remain the same. On the other hand, if you take too much of anything, a higher, a higher dose than normal, whether it's pharmaceutical or natural, it's going to cause problems long-term. And this is what I mean by the dangers of self-medicating. So I hope this video was helpful and it gave you some insights into the different forms of headaches. And please consider giving this video a like or a subscribe so it, the channel can grow and reach others who may need this kind of information. Please feel free to click on the link below as well if you'd like to work together. And I'll see you next time for the next migraine question. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.